8 Craziest Military Vehicles in History Military strategies for gaining enemy territory and fighting effectively on the front lines were never limited in their imagination. It wasn't just conventional tanks and planes measuring themselves in power, but devices with technologies worth of any invention worthy of a futuristic movie. Do you want to know what we're talking about? Then join us for a look at this list of the 8 craziest military vehicles in history, and we'll surprise you. See you at the end of the video, if you survive. Eight, the Flying Betsy. The first attempt to build a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft was built by Rolls-Royce in 1953. That no runways were needed was a great idea, but the aircraft was not at all stable and they took the idea up by NASA in the 1960s for the Apollo program. They built five as lunar landing training vehicles. Despite some accidents, these lunar landing research vehicles were a vital part of the program. The Flying Bedsteed, also known as the Thrust Measuring Rig TMR, first flew on the 2nd of August 1954. They fitted with two standard MK4 Seahawk jet engines, changed only by an air system that they oriented the engines in opposite directions from each other at the ends of a tubular construction. The efflux of the jet tubes, one central and one bifurcated, from the other engine was turned downwards at 90 degrees. 7. The Krupp Kugel Panzer During the First World War, one of the most unique ideas was the rolling or ball tank. The Germans were the first to test a working prototype with the Treffast wagon in 1917. Another concept came in 1936 with the Tumbleweed Tank, designed by Texan inventor A.J. Richardson, but never left the drawing board. The Kugelpanzer, or Rollsleg, shown at number 37 in the Kubinka Tank Museum, is visually similar to its predecessor, the Trefus Wagon. It is the only known built example of one of these ball tanks still in existence. It is a rarity among military vehicles. The Red Army captured the vehicle. The most widely held theory is that in the 1940s, they sent it to Japan as part of Germany's technology exchange plan and was captured in 1945 in Manchuria. However, another report claims that it was captured at the Kummersdorf Proving Ground along with the infamous Moss. 6. Boston Dynamics Big Dog Less than half of the Earth's landmass is accessible to wheeled and tracked vehicles, but people and animals can go almost anywhere on Earth. This situation motivates the development of robotic vehicles that use legs for locomotion, thus adopting nature's mobility solution. The goal is to achieve animal-like mobility over rough terrain, terrain that is too difficult for any existing vehicle. The Big Dog is a robotic pack mule, but it lurks so deep in the valleys that it would probably scare the enemy into surrendering. It was first seen in 2008, creepingly traversing rugged terrain. And since then, Boston Dynamics has been building a larger version to carry 400 pounds of infantry equipment and a high-speed version that runs backwards. 5. Progvev T Gas Dynamic Trawler Although it sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, the concept was simple to imagine. Take a jet engine and use the considerable heat and blast effect to clear and diffuse mines. Easy, right? The Soviets tried that with the Progvev. The only problem with the design is that the size of the tank and the noise generated do not make it a stealthy beast at all. Weighing 37 tons, it is not light. The MIG-15's engine consumed a lot of fuel. However, the T-55's hull could carry the weight with no problems. It was simply an easy target, and they could not assure it would eliminate all the mines. This was just a good idea that did not work. Even if it was modified to carry two MIG-21 engines, this time the idea was to use the power of the engine explosion to put out oil well fires. It was marginally more effective than in the mine clearance role. 4. Schwer Gustav Undora Schwer developed in the late 1930s by Krupp as siege artillery for destroying the main forts of the French Magnoint Line, the strongest fortifications then in existence. The fully assembled gun weighed nearly 1,350 tons and could fire 7-ton shells with a range of 47 kilometers. They designed the guns to prepare for the Battle of France, but were not ready for action when it began. They later used the Gustav in the Soviet Union in the siege of Zvastopol, 
during Operation Barbarossa, where it destroyed an ammunition dump buried in the bedrock beneath the bay. They destroyed the Dora near the end of the war in 1945 to prevent its capture by the Red Army. 3. VZ-9 Avrocar The Avro Canada VZ-9 Avrocar was a VTOL aircraft developed by Avro Aircraft LTD as part of a secret US military project carried out in the early years of the Cold War. The Avocar was intended to exploit the Konda effect to provide lift and thrust from a single turbo engine that blew exhaust gases over the rim of the disc-shaped aircraft to provide expected VTOL-like performance. In the air, it would have resembled a flying saucer, originally designed as a combat aircraft capable of top speeds and altitudes, the project was repeatedly scaled back over time, and the US Air Force eventually abandoned it. They then resumed development for a tactical fighter need, a kind of high performance helicopter. In flight test, the Avrocar proved to have unresolved thrust and stability problems that limited it to a degraded low performance flight envelope. The project was finally canceled in September 1961. 2. Zill 2906 and 4904 Screwdrive Tanks Screw-driven vehicles are specifically designed to cope with mud, bogs, snow, and ice. They can be land or amphibious vehicles, driven by the rotation of one or more agor or screw-type cylinders. The first screw-powered vehicle was designed in the United States in 1868 for agricultural purposes. In the 1920s, a screw-driven snowmobile called the Armsteed Snowmotor was developed in California. A German soldier wanted to solve the difficulties of tracked vehicles in deep snow in Russia, so they never produced it. The US Navy built a marsh screw amphibian in 1969 during the Vietnam War. The Soviets built a screw amphibious vehicle, the Zill 2906, in the 1960s. It was used to move through inaccessible areas, such as Siberia, to retrieve landed cosmonauts. In the 1970s, a larger screw-driven vehicle design called the Zill 4904 was built. The Zill 4906 or Bluebird was produced in the 1970s and weighed two and a half tons. It was a six-wheeled amphibious rescue vehicle designed to transport the Zill 2906 and recover landed Soyuz spacecraft capsules. The Zill 4904 was the largest screw vehicle of all time. A few were built and then the project was scrapped. One. A Crano Plan The Cold War brought many prototypes to military technology. Among these prototypes, or the Soviet Union manufactured this hybrid and was a revolution. The Ekranoplan was an aircraft that flew very low over the sea surface. It was equipped with missiles, some capable of carrying nuclear warheads, that could destroy even the largest US Navy ship. The Ekranoplan was an innovative design, powerful enough to hover above the water but able to land and take off from the water. This low profile configuration also allowed it to approach ships without being detected by their radar. However, the ship plane failed and was abandoned. The authorities intended to take it to a museum, but it has been stranded and beached on a beach in the Caspian Sea. Many have tried to recover it, and curious onlookers are increasingly coming to inspect the wreckage. There have been enough voices calling for it to be taken to a museum once and for all, and not to be destroyed by the natural elements. What do you think of these amazing warships and weapons of war? Do you have a favorite? Leave us a comment on what you thought of this list, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a like and hit the bell so we can let you know when we upload new material. See you next time!